The sets for the Millennium Falcon are pretty big, which is why I don't use or tend to use the Millennium Falcon in any of my mocks. But today, I brought on that challenge and I'm going to be adding my Millennium Falcon into this mock. So let's get started building. I want to have a landing platform on the top of my mock where the Millennium Falcon is going to be. Since I'm experimenting with rock work and dark tan, I'm going to be adding that into this mock. But first I had to add the terrain on the bottom of the mock and establish where it was going to be before I started adding the rock work. I'm not going to start with details on the bottom of the terrain yet. Instead, I'm going to go right to rock work. The rock work starts off pretty well, but at the end of it, I make a huge mistake. As you can probably already tell from me building rock work, I don't have a lot of experience and this shows. I didn't add any bricks for the back to add as filler brick or to hold up any of the slopes. So by the time I'm done with my rock work, I have to squeeze in little tiny filler bricks so I can have the stability so the rock work connects to the top layer. I've been ordering slopes off of Bricklink recently so I have quite a bit. I wanted the rock work to be pretty tall because I thought it would look better. I'm not going to add any detailing to the rock work just yet. I'm going to come back to it once this mock is basically over and then add details. Now I'm going to add a wall on the back of the mock so I can add the second layer to the top. I have quite a lot of 2x6 bricks in the color of light bluish gray so that's the backboard and the filler brick that I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be adding dark bluish gray 16 by 16 plates at the top for a landing platform. Now comes the difficult challenge of connecting the rock work to the top layer. I add rows of filler brick as close as to the rock work as I can get and then adding 8 by 8 plating on the top so that I can add detailing of dark tan on the top of that. This is where I have to squeeze in tiny filler bricks into the back of the rock work which I should have done before and already have built but this is a great learning experience for my future mocks that I'm doing because making a mistake like this in a larger mock would have been terrible. Now I can start adding dark tan plates to the top and cover all the holes that I have left. After covering all of the filler brick with the dark tan plating, this is now where I'm going to start adding details. I have to add some slopes as well as covering up any filler brick left on the rock work. After that, I'm going to be adding smaller plating to the bottom and top areas of the terrain to add some details to the terrain so it's not completely flat. Now all I have to do is adding some plants and some fences on the top of the rock work. After that, all I have to do is add in the minifigures and the Millennium Falcon and we're done. Before I show you guys the end result of this mock, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because I do challenges like this all the time, as well as go through a big mock day by day that I'm building. Right now, I'm just starting building Caller in LEGO. So if you'd like to see that, consider subscribing and on with the video. Looking at the mock when it's finished, I think the mock could have been way bigger to fit in the Millennium Falcon as the Millennium Falcon is kind of overreaching the rock work as well as the landing platform and even goes beyond the back of the mock. After covering up all the rock work though, it turns out really good. The detailing on the terrain and the rock work I'm really proud of and although I have a lot to learn from, this mock did turn out really well. The only thing I have a problem with is the size of the Millennium Falcon but that was the challenge I did today. That's going to wrap up this video here, so if you like this type of content, then consider subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next video.